Have you been wanting to write a book, but you're just not sure how you're gonna fit it in or how you're gonna have time to do it? I'm gonna share with you three ways to finish a 10,000 word book. My name is Shelly Hitz and I have been mentoring writers and an author coach for over a decade. And my husband and I, between the two of us, we've written and published 68 books. And over and over, I see people getting stuck in that stage of trying to write their first draft. And what I have found is there's three main categories that you may fit in and you can actually get your book done and your first draft out of your head and onto paper in a much faster time than you ever imagined. So the first way we're gonna talk about is be, by being a consistent writer. So this is probably what you think of more often than not, that you know, you're know you a consistent writer, you're writing a little bit every day or most days a week, but let's just say you're writing five days a week over your lunch hour. This is exactly how Tim Riordan, one of my Christian Book Academy members, has written and published many books. I think he's up to eight or nine books now, but he writes over his lunch hour consistently. So let's just do a little math. Let's say we do five days a week, and let's say you're doing it for one hour, and let's say you do 500 words for that hour. So if you're doing it for a month, five times four is 20. <laughs> so for 20 days of writing about 500 words a day, that's going to give you your 10,000 words. And you might think that's not enough words for a book, but I will tell you a lot of our books are short books and people like that where they're busy in information overload. And if you can give somebody encouragement, inspiration, help solve a problem in a shorter amount of time, a lot of times your ideal readers are going to love that. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two is by being a chunk writer. Now I will admit I am more of a chunk writer. I like to block off a chunk of time, get in the flow and just get it done. So this could mean that you're taking, let's say, a week-long vacation, or you're taking a three-day writing retreat. So either way could work, but let's go ahead and do the math for both. <laughs> let's say you're doing a five-day vacation, and so let's just do five days, and let's say that you're going to get about 2,000 words a day then that's going to give you your 10,000 word book. And this is your first draft. So remember, your first draft is never your final draft, but you gotta get that first draft out of your head and onto paper. So if you are always like short on time, you have no idea how you could even fit 15 minutes into your day for writing, this might be a good option. Just take some vacation and get that book out of your head and onto paper. You can also do a three day weekend or writing ret retreat. And that way you're going to need to be getting about 3,333 words. And that's gonna give you a 10,000 word book. Now we have, different um, writing retreats that we host inside Christian Book Academy. It's just called a virtual writing retreat. We host it for two days, four hours of writing the first day, four hours on the second day. I've had multiple people that finished their first drafts in those two days. Rebecca Livermore finished 11,000 words just in two days of our writing retreat. And Kim Steadman finished her children's book, plus she finished editing five chapters, plus she finished outlining the, the images, and all of that in just two days. So you can get a lot done when you're really focused and you set aside that time. So the first was the consistent writer, maybe considering writing on your lunch break or your lunch hour or getting up 15 minutes early each day. The second one is a chunk writer, considering taking a vacation or setting aside a two to three day retreat. And the third option is for those of you that may think, I could never write. That's not for me, it's too hard. Well, I wanna tell you, you can speak your book. And when I have told people this at writers' conferences when I'm sharing and I'm um, speaking, 
you know, there, someone came up to me afterwards one time. She's like, Shelly, this is life changing. I, ha I had no idea that I could do this. She said, I finally feel like writing a book is doable for me. And so there's different options to do this. But one way, you know, you really want to have a good outline and then you could record about one hour, maybe one to two hours. And then you're going to have that transcribed. I recommend rev.com and that could equal a 10,000 word book. And so how do I know that? I know that because I did it. So when I was writing my book, Procrastination to Publication, I did this very thing because I'm more of a speaker than a writer, even though I help writers and I mentor writers. <laughs> my husband is more of the typical writer persona. I am more of a speaker. And so I had my detailed outline, then I sat down and because I knew my content so well, I was able to record that in an hour. I had it transcribed at rev.com and then my first draft was done. Now, after I edited it and added a few things, it became a 12,000 word book, but this is doable. <laughs> You can do this. You are able to get a 10,000 word book done in multiple ways. Number one, as a consistent writer, writing at least 15 minutes a day, but if you can devote an hour, five days a week, you could have your 10,000 word book done in a month. Number two, a chunk writer. If you set aside a three-day weekend or you go away for a week vacation, you could have your 10,000 word book done or you can speak your book so this takes a little more um, preparation up front because you really have to have more detailed outline but then you can have it transcribed then you can have your 10,000 word book you can also dictate books that's another way to speak your book I had one of my Christian Book Academy members he wrote his first draft by dictating into his phone when he would take walks so <laughs> there are so many ways and so many options I hope that you got a ton of value from this video if you're ready to get your book out of your head and onto paper I invite you to join my workshop, bookwritinglab.com. There you'll learn my three proven book writing formulas that I've taken hundreds of writers just like you through to be able to finish your first draft. You'll choose your book topic, you'll create a basic outline, and then you'll create a plan to get that first draft done. So I would just be so honored and privileged to help you in that process. And again, let me know below what kind of writer are you and which way we you use to write a 10,000 word book? The consistent, the chunk, or speaking your book?